In January 1939, on the eve of World War II, the U.S. Army Air Force went in search of a new bomber design that would outperform the B-17 Flying Fortresses. The B-24 bomber, nicknamed the Liberator, would become the most highly produced and utilized bomber in World War II. The Liberator was produced by the Consolidated Company, Ford Motor Company, North American Aviation, and Douglas. The Consolidated Company designed the B-24 with a split tail and special wing which allowed it to fly faster and over longer distances. The wings of the B-24 stretched 110 feet and held four 1,200 horsepower engines. More than 19,000 planes were assembled by men and women working on the assembly lines. Not only were the planes designed to fly faster, but also to hold more weight. The boxcar, as it was affectionately named, could carry an 8,000-pound bomb load, 2,750 gallons of fuel, and 11 50 caliber machine guns, as well as the 10 crew members and equipment. Though the B-24 was a large plane, there was not much room on board for the crew. Crew members included the pilot, co-pilot, nose gunner, tail gunner, two waist gunners, a top turret gunner, a bombardier, a navigator, and a radio operator. In the earlier B-24 models, the waste gunners often suffered frostbite from prolonged exposure to sub-zero icy air rushing through the windows. Because the Liberator was not pressurized, all crew members wore oxygen masks to breathe. Though the crew members were in the thick of war, they still managed to make time to create what has become perhaps the most appealing feature of the B-24, the colorful and entertaining nose art. The Army painted old B-24s in outrageous designs, such as polka dots, to be used as assembly planes. In adverse weather, pilots would look for their brightly colored designated assembly plane in order to regroup with their bomb unit. However, the war was not always bright colors and smiles. The B-24s were used in many long-range missions and were very vulnerable to heavy fire from the front. The most notable mission was to Ploesti, Romania, Hitler's main fuel source. Of the 177 liberators that left that morning, only 123 returned. 54 bombers and 144 airmen were claimed that day. But the strength of the B-24 and its crew did not diminish that day. The B-24s continued to be successfully used on all fronts of the war.